This very first fish is going to have a fake mini game. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to avoid catching this fish instead of trying to catch it. That will let us practice the mini game like this. First of all, I'm going to do the m shortest possible cast by just barely tapping my mouse button. When it rings and I get an exclamation mark, I'm going to tap my mouse. Now I immediately raise my bar up to the top and I'm not catching the fish. Now here's how this mini game works. There's a green bar at the top, on the, in the middle, top left, top middle. I'm going to call that the hook bar. I'm just going to call it my hook. That green bar is the hook. There's a fish that's going up and down and starting to get closer to my hook bar. Now he's going down, he's going down, and then over on the right side is a progress bar. The progress bar is red. It means I'm not very close to catching the fish. Now, because this is a fake mini game, that progress bar never goes down. It only goes up. Every time I cross the fish, it goes up. In a regular mini game, any time that the bar, my hook bar, is not on the fish, the progress bar is going to sink like a rock, and I will, the fish will get away. So I have to keep this hook bar on the fish if I want to catch a fish. So what I have to do is practice keeping that green bar where I want it. Right now I have the mouse button pressed. It's just pressed. And that's keeping the hook bar at the top. If I release it just a little bit, the hook bar goes down. And now if I tap it, click, 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 I can practice trying to keep it in the same spot. I'll try to keep it right at the very top couple of ticks on the bamboo. Ooh. Oh, wow. I want to show you a couple of things. If I hit the top and keep the mouse button down, it doesn't bounce when I hit the top. See that? Now that fish is coming really close to me. I'm going to let this go to the bottom, and when I hit the bottom, it bounces severely. That's a terrible thing. I need practice keeping it from bouncing. Now, we'll see if that fish is going to... Okay, the fish goes back up, so I, I can raise this a little bit. And watch, I'll drop it again, and it bounces like crazy. So I have to practice getting it to gently hit the bottom. I raise it a little bit, and then let... Yeah, I caught it that time as it was hitting the bottom, and it didn't bounce at all. That's what we want to be able to do. Catch it. That was a little bit of a bounce. Okay. There I am. I'm making it bounce more. We want it to... There. It just barely settled down on the bottom. And we want to practice that a whole bunch. Because we don't want it to bounce when we don't want it to bounce. Again, it doesn't bounce when it hits the top. It does bounce when it hits the bottom. So I can practice keeping it on that top couple of ticks. Then on the second down, couple of ticks. Now the top cu oops, couple of ticks. I'm not the best. I'm not a gamer. Top couple of ticks. Uh, next couple of ticks down. I get to practice a long time because that progress bar on the right is only going to progress when I cross the fish. So I can keep it this as long as I want. Here I go. Bounce. <laughs> Bounce. That, I don't want to do that. Let's practice doing that better. Whoop. There. I only bounced a little. It wasn't perfect. If I'm perfect, I won't bounce at all. Well, I, I hit it too soon that time. If I need to get it to the bottom fast, I need to practice not bouncing. I can get it to the top fast, because it doesn't bounce. But I need to learn how to get it to the bottom fast without bouncing. So once the fish goes, to the, goes a little higher, I'm going to practice a little bit more getting it to the bottom fast without bouncing. And here I am just practicing. All right, let's try it. Soup! That, didn't, that was pretty good. I, I need to t touch the, hold the mouse button just for a little bit, just before it hits the bottom. So I can slow it down just before it hits the bottom. 
So I hold the mouse button, release it. Hold the mouse button, release it. Hold the mouse button, oops, release it. I caught the fish a little bit. Now I'll go tap, 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 tap. And when I feel like I'm ready to actually try the real mini game, then I can go ahead and catch this fish. But that's an important insight for you that you can practice on this fish as long as you want with no penalty. Notice it's still 7.42 a.m. and it's not changing. Now I have a mod that's changing that clock to one minute increments. Normally we'll only see 10 minute increments, but it's 7.40 a.m. and it's not getting later. And I can practice this all day long. I mean, in real life, I can practice this for, for a long time, as long as that fish doesn't get caught. I'm going to practice catching it. Ooh, I caught it perfect. It didn't bounce at all. Let's try keeping it at the second set of ticks. Oops, I went above them. I'm, well, I'm, not, I, I'm not very good. First set of ticks. Quick, 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 quick. You can hear the little squeaky sound every time I hold the mouse down. Go up. The top is easy. Now, now that I've practiced, I'm going to see if I can actually keep it on the fish. Here we go. Keep it on the fish. Ugh. No, I wouldn't catch that fish in the real world. Oh, brother. I would have lost it a long time ago. Well, all right. 